All Penelope Sparrow ever wanted to be was a dancer. Her partner is the space around her and she revels in the way it stirs against her skin. But she's waged a long-standing war with her body that has destroyed her career and undermined her most important relationships. As the art of falling opens, Penny awakens in a Philadelphia hospital room unable to move. A witness tells her she landed on his car, parked 14 stories below her penthouse. Of course, everyone wants to know what caused Penny to part from that balcony, but Penny's much more concerned with how she'll rebuild her life. These are the two storylines. What happened to put Penny up on that ledge and how she slowly remobilizes due to this extraordinary second chance. Supporting Penny in her rehabilitation are the first friends she's ever had outside the dance world. Marty Candlebaum is energized by the miracle of her survival. It was his car and his donuts that broke her fall. Hospital roommate Angela Reed, at 28 the same age as Penny, is at the end stages of cystic fibrosis. Her fighting spirit offers a surprising appreciation for the gift of her body. But to truly heal, Penny must reconcile with the people she thought she'd left behind, like her mother, whose issues with overeating have left them estranged. Like Dimitri de Laval, the director who loved her as a dancer and tried to love her as a woman. And the local dance critic, determined to make a public story of what happens when a dancer privately turns on her own body. The Art of Falling makes a great book club read. Body image, for example, is well worth discussing. You might talk about how the dance world stands in for our society and discuss the ways our culture sends signals to us about ideal body type. You might want to talk about how body, temperament, and spirit help define creativity. And that's a beautiful notion, but it also challenges our ability to tolerate our individual differences. There's so much else to talk about, and the topics are included in the discussion guide at the back of the book. I invite book clubs to contact me through my website, katherinecraft.com, and let me know the date you plan to discuss it. If I can, whether in person or via Skype, I'd love to join in on your conversation.